A sign of unity, the LA Clippers players dumping their warm-up jerseys in a silent protest against the alleged racist comments made by their owner, Donald Sterling. The players also wore black armbands and black socks in their 118-97 playoff defeat at the Golden State Warriors. Despite the series tying loss and outrage from the basketball community, staff at the Clippers are still trying to be diplomatic. I'm not going to deny that um, we had other stuff. Um, I just, you know, listen, I, I just believe when the game starts, the game starts and nobody cares anymore. I believe everybody was affected by what, what took place. I don't believe it was just the Clippers. I don't think uh, there was anything said directly towards the Clippers and their players. I think it was insulting to all of us. 80-year-old Sterling is alleged to have criticized a female friend for posting pictures of herself online with black men, including basketball legend Magic Johnson. Johnson's called for the NBA commissioner Adam Silver to oust Sterling from the league. He's got to come down hard. He shouldn't own a team anymore. And he should stand up and say, I don't want to own a team anymore, especially when you have African-Americans renting his apartments, coming to the games, and playing for him, and coaching for him. Uh, this, is, this is bad for everybody. It's bad for America, and, and so uh, I'm really upset about it. But it's not the first time Sterling, who's worth $1.9 billion, has been accused of racism. There was a lawsuit by his former general manager, Elgin Baylor, in which he alleged that Sterling said that he wanted a plantation mentality with poor blacks from the South working for a white coach. There's a story uh, about how when he was interviewing Raleigh Massimino for a job many years ago in the 80s, that he walked in inebriated with a woman on his arm who was also not his wife and said, I want to know how you're going to handle these N-word. The Clippers have sold out their arena for 137 straight games. We'll find out in Game 5 on Tuesday if their fans make their own protest by not showing up. Richard Parr, Al Jazeera.